Hey, how's it hey. going in there? Everybody's getting along great. How you doing? Well, actually, the rain let up, so uh, these buns should have a little bit more fight to them. <laughs> Hurry up, Larry's gonna sing his song. Song? What song? My dad wrote a special song for your parents. You think that's a good idea? It's just a song, Greg. The song never hurt anybody. <laughs> You know, I really think you guys are okay. So I wrote a little song about it. It's called, Hey, You Guys Are Okay. <laughs> it's hard to express the thoughts that I'm feeling. At first you two weren't that appealing. But now I just want to say... I've, I've hurt myself. Where? Well, I, my, my, um, my sitter upon. Your what? She means her caboose. Yes. Oh, sit upon. Yes, oh, yes. oh, great. Go get some ice for your mother's ass. <laughs> happened last night. <laughs> Don't break, it's just a bruised tailbone. She'll be back on her ass in no time. <laughs> ah, I get it. I'll get it. <laughs> hey, 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 you guys are okay. <laughs> Hi, Dharma. Hey, Donald, what's up? Hi. I'm selling chocolate bars to raise money for my homecoming dance. Oh. I like your toenail polish. Oh, thanks, yeah. I was trying for a rainbow. Yeah, you got the indigo and violet backwards. Where would you biv? <laughs> I'm sorry? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. It's mnemonic. I got a bunch of them. <laughs> oh, like, like XYZ? What? Gotcha. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, actually, just for the record, examine your zipper should be EYZ. Did you know that the S in Harry S. Truman didn't stand for anything? Hey, do I want to buy some chocolate? That's it, Dharma. I'm a peace-loving man. But there are times when you have to say, hell no! Is that chocolate? Yeah. Do you want to buy some? Depends. What do you got? Well, I got milk chocolate. I got dark chocolate. Ooh. Larry, Larry, Larry. Hell no what, Larry? Oh, yeah. Your mother-in-law is suing me. Oh. Donald, can we do this later? Yes. Hey, 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 hold on. Don't tell my old lady I'm eating white sugar. I don't know your old lady. Good. That's very good. <laughs> hey, Larry, what's going on? You know, I'm a peace-loving man, but there are times when you have to say, hell no! Oh, almonds? I hate almonds. Eat around them, Larry. Your mother is suing my father. What? Oh, I don't believe this. Ooh, a raisin? What the hell is going on? <laughs> Dad, you, you cannot let Mother sue my father-in-law. Oh, she wanted to have him sent to a Turkish prison, but no one from the embassy would return her calls. <laughs> one and a half million dollars for a bruised tailbone? And emotional distress. <laughs> Mother. He has to learn. <laughs> Dad, surely she realizes they don't have anywhere near that kind of money. Oh, she knows that. She's just hoping they'll be so desperate they'll do something that will land them in a Turkish prison. <laughs> What if I got Larry to apologize? It would have to be a written apology. Fine. On a postcard from a Turkish prison. <laughs> Here's a receipt. Remember, it's tax deductible. Okay. Schedule A. Got it. <laughs> so who are you going to the dance with? Um, I, I don't think I'm going to go. What, you're raising money for a dance and you're not even going? Well, the person I really want to go with, I don't think she'd go with me. Well, why don't you ask her? How? Oh. Just say, I think you're really wonderful. Would you go to the homecoming dance with me? I think you're really wonderful. Would you go to the homecoming dance with me? <laughs> See? That's good. Just like that. All right. Well, will you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, me? 
me? Yeah. Oh, you're asking me? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> uh, sure! Really? Yeah, but just as friends, you know, because okay. I'm married. That's definitely how I meant it. Uh, so, it's Saturday at 7. Cool, pick me up at 8. Okay. Wait, why? To make an entrance, son. Right. right. Um, but at the dance, could you not call me son? Hey, hey Donald. What's up? I just want to say that I completely respect your marriage vows. Bye. Good to know. So how'd it go at your parents? Well, I talked them out of going to court. Oh, good, honey. Thanks. I knew they'd listen to you. Well, your father has a choice. Either submit to binding arbitration or replace my mother's inflatable butt donut with one of his lungs. I wouldn't give him a choice. Okay, then we'll have the hearing here on Saturday. Oh, no, Greg, Saturday's no good. Donald just invited me to the big homecoming dance. <laughs> no, I hope you said yes, because my life isn't weird enough. Come on, Greg, he's only 16 years old, and he's really awkward with girls. Well, how's it going to help him to walk into a dance with a tall blonde... Never mind. <laughs> I was homeschooled. You know, I never got to go to one of these things. It'll be fun! Far be it for me to let our marriage get in the way of your dating. Hey, what's going on? My wife's going to the homecoming dance with Donald. Cool. <laughs> Told him he'd say yes. <laughs> oh my god, I like so totally need a dress. Oh my god, I like so totally need a hot dog on a stick. Let me guess, your 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 sixteen year old girl's going to the mall. Duh. <laughs> uh, hi. Um, there's like this big homecoming dance at Bayside, and I was wondering if you had like any dresses that like weren't lame, but that were like totally awesome. <laughs> And this would be for your body. <laughs> she always gets to go to the dance. I never do. That's because you always put out too fast. That's why your mom puts you in Catholic school. Why don't I see if I can find anything that might work for you? But zippers, not buttons. He's not like a rocket scientist. <laughs> Hey, um, do you guys, like, go to Bayside? Yeah. Uh, are you going to the homecoming dance, too? What do you like mean, too? What do you like mean? What do you like mean? <laughs> Just so happens that Donald Ridgely asked me. Donald Ridgely asked you? Uh-huh, he came over to my house and he was all like, there's this big dance, and I was all, are you serious? And then she came over to my house and she told me how he was all, there's this big dance, and she was all, are you serious? <laughs> You're going to the dance with Donald Dork? Dork? Not. <laughs> Have you seen his tattoo? Donald Ridgely has a tattoo? He got it in Juvie. <laughs> <laughs> when did he go to Juvie? Remember, last year when everyone thought he was out with Pink Eye, duh. 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 <laughs> well, how are you guys getting there? Ah! Like, if. We get there. <laughs> he is so hot. Well, if you want, we have room for two more in our limo. Well, like, I'm gonna have to, like, talk to Donald about that because I don't think that he, like, um, like, hangs out with kids his own age. She's right. No one at school hangs out with him. He is so <laughs> cool. Back off. He's mine. I went out with him first. Yeah, well, you couldn't keep him now, could you? You want to take this outside? No, let's take it right here. Girl fight! <laughs> oye, 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 all those with business in front of the Honorable Peter James Kavanaugh, please rise. <laughs> you may be seated. I object to Pete as the arbitrator. Fine, then hire an arbitrator for $500 an hour. Withdrawn. <laughs> All right, we're here in the matter of Montgomery versus Finkelstein. Uh, 
Does the counsel for the plaintiff have an opening statement? Gregory? Mother, I'm not representing you. Well, you're welcome for law school. <laughs> <laughs> plaintiff waves opening statement. That's what they taught you in law school? <laughs> Excuse me, Mother, Dharma's date is here. <laughs> Donald, nice tuxedo. Actually, this particular garment is known as an evening suit. They came to be known as tuxedos due to the prevalence of supper clubs in Tuxedo Park, New York. <laughs> Dharma, Donald's here. Your wife is going on a date? Yeah, they're going as friends. And if you like, he's got a delightful little story about the word platonic. <laughs> it's derived from Plato. But if you asked me for the story, well, that would be Socratic. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, wow. Thanks. Hey, bitch, an evening suit, Donald. Wow. Is that for me? Wow. Hey, why don't I just take it? I'll be right back. Bree. <laughs> this is a really cool thing to do for Donald, and I just want you to know I feel very lucky to have a husband who understands. Well, you don't, but have fun. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. McGovern, do you mind? I don't want to see that on the internet. <laughs> no, sir. Good night, everybody. Night, night. Have fun. We will. Thank you. <laughs> well, he seems like a nice boy. <laughs> hey, Greg, can I take your wife to my cousin's wedding? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, Mr. Finkelstein, do you have an opening statement? Thank you. I'll make it brief. In 1787, our founding fathers drafted a little document we call the Constitution. I'd like to read that document into the record. <laughs> We can go home now. Hey, Donald, you know what? What? This is great! High school rocks! Yeah, that's because the wrestling team never made you eat a urinal cake. You had to eat a urinal cake? Uh, at Marilyn Manson's birthday party? You are so cool! Yeah. <laughs> oh, we should probably sit down. No, 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 no! Stand! Grandma, I just want to say that this is the greatest night of my life. And I don't just mean up till now. I mean, like, way after now, too. <laughs> oh, no, Donald, don't say that. You have your whole life ahead of you. There's gonna be lots of dances and lots of girls. I think you're overlooking one thing. I'm a geek. You are doing fine. Brittany and Dakota couldn't take their eyes off of you in the limo. That's because I was with you. They wouldn't have looked at me otherwise. Well, not if you barf information on them all the time, Donald. Brittany, did you know you're named after a southern coastal region in France whose residents still regard it as a separate country? <laughs> well, what was I supposed to say? I don't know, but you could try listening. But they're so boring. Well, then why do you want to be friends with them? Because they're the cool people. <laughs> okay, let's just dance for a second. I have to think. <laughs> Which is an idea also found here in the Magna Carta. <laughs> I object. On what grounds? On the grounds that you, you, you scared my mother. She fell down, went boom. End of story. Why are you making this so complicated? Your Honor, that's not an objection. That's a speech. <laughs> that's quite right, Mr. Finkelstein. Objection overruled. Uh, permission to approach the bench. For what purpose? To kill you. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> to continue, Mr. Finkelstein. To continue. <laughs> Aren't you going to listen to your husband's speech? Nah, I heard him give this speech last month in traffic court. <laughs> How did it work? Well, the judge gave him $20 out of his own pocket just to shut up. <laughs> You want a taste? No, I'm not much of a drinker. Abby, 
Could you get the overhead projector out of the van? It's by the door, Larry. Oops. <laughs> Hit me. <laughs> Harder. <laughs> Britney's date drank a buttload of Jaeger and now he's yakking his guts up in the dumpster. Oh my god, he's so cool. <laughs> okay, but more importantly, I think Britney needs somebody to dance with. I, I'm with you. And I'm having a great time. But now is your chance to be with someone who's your own age and, you know, not married. <laughs> what if she laughs at me? So she laughs. But what if she says yes? We have to try, Donald. Okay. Wait, what do I say? Okay, tell her that you're very sorry that her date got sick and would she like to dance. And under no circumstances, explain how alcohol causes vomiting. Well, actually, it doesn't. Uh, alcohol causes gastritis. Gastritis causes... Go! <laughs> Are you a hooker? No. Told ya. <laughs> hey, you wanna dance? Sure. You ever danced with a man before? Before I rule on the liability, uh, there's the matter of the damages. Hey, 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 this tea is okay. <laughs> Steady or they'll take it away. <laughs> so I'm a little confused here. The doctor bills add up to $450. How did you arrive at the figure of one and a half million? Emotional distress. What kind of emotional distress? I would rather not go into it. Well, then you have to go into it. <sighs> Fine. Shortly after the accident, I went to a fundraiser. I had to sit next to the mayor on this. That's worth a million and a half bucks? Here comes the good part. Apparently, it, it wasn't sealed properly, and when I sat down, it made a... <laughs> sound. What kind of sound? Oh. Oh. You are drunk and disgraceful. Hello, drunk. Hi, disgraceful. Excuse me, excuse me. Would the plaintiff please demonstrate for the court how the alleged sound was allegedly made? I most certainly will not. Your Honor? The witness will comply under the, uh, this I got a C rule. Oh, this is preposterous. Well? Well, maybe I shifted my, my weight. <laughs> it was a different kind of chair. Or a different kind of lunch. <laughs> what are you suggesting? Your Honor, who amongst us has not blamed the dog? I blame you! I got here as soon as I could. Thanks. So you got dumped at the big dance, huh? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm glad he hooked up with Brittany, but they all got in the limo and went to IHOP and left me here. <laughs> High school sucks. Well, you don't have to go anymore. Thanks. How'd the trial go? Larry's countersuing my mother for assault and battery. Uh -oh. 1.7 billion dollars. <laughs> Wanna dance? I love to. <sighs> Got a date for the prom yet? Are you asking? 
I guess so. Um, sorry, but Andy Snyder already asked me. Oh, bummer. <laughs> but, um, I'll let you look down my shirt later.